Hello and welcome to another week of home learning. Again, we hope you've had a lovely weekend and are ready for another week. Now, we're going to be doing some more origami today. Well, actually we're going to be doing something called kirigami because we're using scissors to make our shape as well as folding. But it's very similar to what we've been doing before and we're going to have a go at making the giraffe from the smartest giant in town. Okay, so let's get going with that. Okay, so for our project today, you're going to need a piece of paper, some scissors, and a ruler if you've got one would be helpful today, but you don't need one. So start off how we always do, turning your A4 piece of paper into a square. So when you have your square, you're going to want to turn it this way, and you'll see that we've, I've got this fold down the middle from where I made my square earlier. And what you want to do is take one of your corners and fold it in like this. Now, this is unusual. We don't normally fold like this, but it's a bit like you're making a paper aeroplane. So you want to fold like that with this line running down that middle line. And do the same again on the other side. Now we're going to do quite an unusual fold and that's why the ruler might come in handy for you today. Um, and I didn't mention again a pencil is um, quite handy so um, you might want to go and get yourself a pencil. Now we're going to do a fold that's a bit like this. Now you don't have to be too exact here, it doesn't matter quite how far down this side you are as long as you've got a bit, a longer bit above than you have below. And Get your ruler on like this and you're going to want to draw a diagonal line across like that. Then again, you want to make a diagonal line and this is why a ruler is handy because you need it to start at the same bit on the other side. So draw yourself a little marker and you want it to finish in the same place on the other side too. And then connect those dots with a diagonal line. So when you've got these diagonal lines, what you want to do is fold the paper backwards along those lines. So there's our first one. So you can see I've turned it over to make this fold, but I'm still going backwards. And then again on this side. So what you should have, if you come back to this middle bit, look, here are our flaps that we made at the start, and you should have a backwards fold that way and a backwards fold that way. Now, when you fold this back up, what you should notice happen is that those folds you've just made stay, and you should end up with this sort of shape forming. So put your finger into this kind of hat and pull it all the way to the top, and you'll see that you're able to flatten it all out and you should end up with that shape. Now you have got a line across there from where you drew your pencil. So you might want to rub that out um, when you get to the end when you're doing your design. Okay, so this is gonna be the neck of the giraffe and we want to make the head up here as well. So what we're gonna do is just take a bit of the top and you can see I've got my two fingers One's going in, one's on the other side, and I'm just pulling it in like that. Now, this can be quite tricky, but what you're aiming for is something that looks a bit like this. Like that. And you can see the trick to this is to not try and pull too much of it down, to just get the very end bit and keep it like that. The alternative, if you're finding that really tricky, is just to fold it across like that. You can do that as well. It won't sit as nicely but you can just fold like that and you'll have your giraffe as well. So I'll leave mine like that to show you that one. Okay so you can see here that we're starting to build up the neck of the giraffe and the face. Now we need to come on to the body and this is actually really simple today because all we're going to do is create the body shape and the tail and then we're going to use our scissors to cut out the legs. So take this very end corner and what you're going to want to do is 
fold it into the gap inside. Okay, so watch that. You're just going to push it in and fold it into the gap like that. And you're looking to create a line like this or even a little bit further facing inwards at the bottom. When you've done that, you should see that inside you've got that fold that you've just folded in and you're going to want to fold a little bit back out to just stick out for the tail. So have a look what that looks like. Just a little bit stuck out for the tail like that. So you should see that we've got quite a nice looking giraffe shape now with a little tail out here, the neck and the face. Now is where you need your scissors. So take your scissors and we're going to make the legs. So this first one, we're just going to chop straight up like this. And then the last one, we're going to chop with a little bit of an angle, but still fairly straight up up to the same height and then chop across. Now you should see that that has created for us the shape of a giraffe. And if you're really lucky, it should be able to stand up as well. There you go, there's my giraffe stood up. So now it's time to think about the design. Now giraffes have this very particular design, but before you even get to that, what you're gonna be wanting to do is get rid of this line, which was drawn earlier to help us with our fold. So take a rubber and just gently rub out that line so that you've got a blank canvas to be working on. Now, as usual, I encourage you to go uh, with whatever design you want and to be creative. But one thing that giraffes do have is these lovely spots and the thing about these spots is they're not nice and round they sort of connect with each other whilst at the same time never actually touching so they're kind of blobs and you can see what they do you can see that there's all these gaps in between them but this is a really nice fun texture to try and draw on your giraffe and notice as well that I'm not doing all of these as complete blobs. The ones near the edge, sometimes I'm just doing like half a blob and then fitting my blobs around them. And that makes it look like that your giraffe almost goes around the corner, that it's a 3D giraffe as well. So that's what you can do. Um, but of course, you can make your own funky designs as well. And I look forward to those. But there you go. There's a giraffe all ready for you to design. And that's the end of our project. Well, I hope you enjoyed that activity today. I really look forward to all of your colouring and all of your folding this week making those giraffes. Now, just before you go, something to remind you about. A few weeks back, it was World Refugee Day. And at Dunkirk, we're going to be thinking a bit more about that this week. So in your emails this morning, you've got an extra activity this week, making paper chains and thinking about uh, girls around the world and thinking about children around the world generally and how we can be united and listen to them and learn about their stories. As well as that activity, we've also got an assembly over on our main Dunkirk channel. So I'd really encourage you to have a watch of that and learn some more about World Refugee Day uh, with that assembly. But for now, have a fantastic week and I'll see you again soon.